Hello everyone and welcome. On this episode of Castle.io we are going to be creating a state machine that will allow us to go from this state right here to the next and back. And this is the foundation of our game. If you want to know how that's done, stick around and let's get started. So, in order for us to do a state machine we need to create an enum. And to do that we go here into our text controller script and up here in the top we can go public enum and let's call it states open and close brackets and this will enumerate all the states in our game so for instance the first state can be the intro state after that we can go to the candle state or we can go to the tunnel state and with this we are going to enumerate all the states in our game then we can go here into our variable and we can create a public and instead of being a text variable or a boolean or an integer we can have a states variable and we can call it the current state and this relates to one of these states if you go back to unity and click on the story text game object you can see that our current state can be one of those three. With that in place we can go ahead and tell that the current state is equal to states.intro because we want the first state in our game to be the intro. Then what we need is to check what state we are and display the current text for that state and also the inputs. And for us to do that first let's create three methods, one for each of these three states. So let's go void state intro, void state candle, and finally void state tunnel. And now in each one of these methods we can go ahead and write the story text so story.text and the appropriate text and also the input. So we can go input. However, instead of advancing the story text, we can simply change the current state to be equal to the appropriate state. So in this case, if you press C, you go into the candle state. And if you press R, you go into states.tunnel and you will repeat this in the other methods. I will do that and I'll be right back. Well, now that I have all the methods written out with the story and the appropriate inputs, we can go ahead and work on the update method. In here, we are going to check the current state variable and depending on what state we are, we are going to be displaying one of these methods. So, for us to do that, we can go switch, open brackets, and we are going to be switching the current state variable. And now we can do case that current state variable is states.intro, we are going to display the state. Uh, state intro function and then we are going to break case we are in states dot candle we can go state candle and then we break and case we are on state tunnel not state tunnel case we are on state state dot tunnel we can display the states tunnel method and then we break now let's go ahead and jump into unity and wait for it to recompile and if you play the game you will see that we are indeed on the first and the intro state if we try to check the tunnel by pressing R you will see that we change the text to the appropriate text for checking the tunnel 
And if we press B to go back, we go back into the intro state. If we do the same with the candle, we can go into the candle state. And if we go O to open the backpack, right now we will go back into the intro state. Perfect. Well, this is the foundation upon which we are going to be building this text adventure. And as you can see, it's very easy to keep adding to your story. You simply add a new state, add the state to the switch statement, you create a new method with the story and the appropriate key inputs, and there you go. You, that's it. Simple as that. And with that, we reach the end of this episode. For now, we are able to go from the intro state to the tunnel state. We can also go back and we can go to the candle state and back. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos, comment any problems that you may have encountered, and I will see you all on the next episode. Cheers!